Good day and welcome for new presentations in easy and different radiology. I'm Dr. Osama Ibrahim, consultant radiologist, and today our appointment number 21 from Tips and Hands. Today I will talk about the Crohn's disease through different imaging modality. The first one is MRE, VCE, and CGR, and this is a different imaging modality which depending on endoscope, MR, and conventional radiography as we will see in the next slides. So let's start our presentation today. First uh, slides, I will talk about the, these letters, which are abbreviating for the MRE, for example, is abbreviating for magnetic resonance enterography. Uh, VCI is referred to the video capsule endoscopy and the CGR is referred to conventional gastrointestinal radiography, which is referred to barium studies. So this is the three imaging modality which I will comparing these modalities for imaging of the Crohn's disease in my presentation today. Uh, the MRI features to assist should be assessed in the small bowel Crohn's disease. Uh, first one is the segmental mural hyper enhancement and this is the most common finding in the MRI study for diagnosing of Crohn's disease. Wall thickening also is very important uh, finding in the MRI when diagnosing Crohn's disease and the bowel wall thickening, small bowel wall thickening more than 4 mm is considered abnormal and uh, uh, according to the increasing the sickness, the severity of the disease can be determined or assessed. The uh, third feature which is also can be detected by MRI is structure. And structure meaning the focal narrowing of the lumen with immediate upstream bowel dilatation more than 3 cm, equal or more than 3 cm dilatations above or proximal to the regions of narrowing, at that time you can define it as a stricture. Because if it is more than 4 cm, it's considered an obstruction, not stricture. And this is the landmark point for differentiating stricture from obstructions in the MRI study. So the upstream dilatation over 4 cm is advised to be reported as small bowel obstructions according to the literature. Ulcerations also another finding which can be detected in MRI to diagnosing the Crohn's disease and ulceration meaning the focal effect of the intraluminal aspect of the small bowel wall and this defect is confined to the serosa of the bowel wall because if it is passing beyond the serosa at that time it can be diagnosed as a sinus and this is the land point also between the landmark between the ulceration and the sinus if it passing is rosa or not. All these features is the most common seat feature that can be diagnosing the Crohn's disease in MRI examinations, particularly in MRI, MR enterography. And this image is showing the various severity of ulcers in patients with Crohn's disease seen in the magnetic resonance in the lower row compared with the endoscopic correlations in the upper row. And the degree of ulcers is a simple ulcer here and the degree is increasing in these directions to reaching as a fissure in the uh, last images or in the end images. However, in MRI also we can discriminate in the wool which appeared enhancing and there are small defects in the wool which can be appeared here in this image and also the uh, wool defect can be dis determined also in MRI as this image which can be discriminating the severity more than the first image in the defect. Under optimal imaging conditions, modern magnetic resonance imaging can will visualize even small superficial scattered ulcer like this small ulcer uh, uh, and differentiate them from a large one. Thus further clarifications according to this source 
uh, defining the ulcers visible in MRI into different, different categories may further enhance the scoring performance because the scoring of Crohn's disease is depending on the wall sickness and ulceration formation and this image or this study confirming the most important rule of MRIs in these categories of scoring of Crohn's disease comparing with the comparative with the endoscopic which have the same uh, finding or a little bit same finding the other MRI features which can uh, assist for diagnosing of Crohn's disease is the diffusion weighted image and diffusion weighted image if the lesions appear the restricted diffusions representing active inflammation so the diffusion and enhancement representing activity of the pathology uh, pseudo diverticular or pseudo circulations formations another features which also famous also with the Crohn's disease and this meaning that broad band out pouching along the anti mesenteric border Comp sign also from the signs which diagnosing Crohn's disease can be detected by MRI which uh, referring to enlarged mesenteric blood vessels related to an inflamed bowel loops like a comp fibro fatty proliferations also from the famous disruptions or expressions for Crohn's disease which can be detected by MRI and these proliferations can be referring to creeping fats and appeared as a hypertrophy of mesenteric fats which separates the bowel loops so the finding here of separation of bowel loops can be confirming that finding of pathology uh, sinus tract if the lesion uh, uh, making defect in the wall and passing beyond the serosa uh, fistula formation if the fistula connecting between the bowel pathologic bowel loops and also another bowel loops or another neighbor structure like urinary bladder or uh, uh, other structure vagina in the female abscess formations and also mesenteric lymphadenopathy another feature that can be seen in the Crohn's disease and can be detected by MRI and this patient showing the MRE CGR and VCE correlations this is a different imaging modality in the 14 year old female patient with Crohn's disease confirmed at histopathology and this is a different imaging by different modalities first one is the MRI and second one also is MRI MRI here is the T2 this is a different sequence of MRI and in this MRI we can see the bowel loops filled with the uh, manitol which is uh, 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 drink it by the patient one hour or two hours according to the area which want to be examined before the study and this is study this sequence without contrast only T2 and this appearance of the lumen of the bowel loops which appeared slightly dilated of ileal loops with irregular wall thickening and also you can see these separations of the bowel loops here which are representing the fibro fatty proliferation and also there are uh, uh, area of structures or narrowing of the lumens of the, of the uh, colon at that region and uh, this is uh, referring to the descending colon wool thickening and the luminal stenosis all these features as we mentioned in the previous two slides parts from the diagnostic diagnostic features in MRI for Crohn's disease this sequence is sequence of MRI also but this is a T1 sequence with contrast intravenous contrast that time and this is called enhancing coronal T1 weighted image and this image is showing the enhancement of the wool of the uh, terminal ileum and the thickening also of the wool more than four, four millimeters as we mentioned this is the landmark for abnormality and also the descending colon there are area of enhancement which appearing high signal uh, uh, in the uh, wall of the bowel as we see so presence of skip lesions also another features which diagnostic for the Crohn's disease uh, uh, remember that patient or that child 
is confirmed histopathologically as a Crohn's disease. And this is the third uh, one which is called CGR. CGR here meaning is a conventional gastrointestinal radiography or barium study which is showing also distal ileal which appearing here and this distal ileal have uh, luminal stenosis as we see this is a lumen is stenosed with mucosal sickening and edema which appearing also in the image as a black uh, uh, line uh, with string lines inside which referring to the lumen which become more stenosed and narrowed. Uh, there are also uh, a separation of the bowel loops here which is representing a broadening of fat space and this is due to fibro fatty proliferations also. And this is the video capsule endoscopy which is showing also ulcerations uh, and ileal uh, mucosal changes in the form of ulcerations and uh, also numerous small polypoid lesions. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, polypoid lesions which referred by the long arrow here and this is the region of ulcerations by the video capsule endoscopy and uh, all these imaging can be helping and for diagnosing of the Crohn's disease. Another patient which is 16 year old female patient with confirmed also Crohn's disease and they have uh, the T2 uh, and this is T1 enhancing. There are also uh, this one is T2 and uh, the D is uh, enhancing study in T1 which is showing the uh, mural thickness and enhancement of the wool and in the T2 uh, this uh, image is the image of the conventional radiography which is uh, formed by uh, drinking of parium and imaging in the conventional radiograph and this one is a video capsule in uh, endoscopy or VC. So this is a different imaging modality which can help in diagnosing of the Crohn's disease as usual the the T2 can you see the dilatation of the wool and also separation of the loops with thickening of the wool. The enhancing uh, sequence you can see the enhancing wool thickness of the wool and uh, uh, in different areas as we see here in the transverse colon also there are enhancing of the wool in uh, that different child uh, which can be seen also in this uh, axial image this is corona and this is axial with contrast there are also enhancement of the wool can be detected here. The uh, CGR showing the luminal narrowing which can be seen clearly here as a string line with contrast and also broadening and separation of the bowel loops due to fibro fatty proliferation. Endoscopy is better for evaluation of the mucosa so the mucosal abnormality can be detected easily as uh, ulcerations or congestions and edema as we saw in this area which showing the ulceration by the VCE imaging. This image is for the VCE and the VCE here or capsule endoscopy showing different uh, uh, degrees of ulcerations as we see here at the uh, uh, as, as lesions of ulcers in the uh, middle small bowel and abscess in the B and uh, fissure reaching to the fissures here and this is severe form of ulceration which is the degree of the Crohn's uh, classification degree and also uh, this one or the Crohn's classifications classifications score uh, this is an MRI imaging which is showing the uh, thickening of the wool of the terminal ileum which also appearing here in the contrast study as an enhancing wool and the enhancement is the feature uh, can be detected in the enhancing study however the dilated bowel loops and thickening can be in easily seen also in the non uh, uh, intravenous contrast without intravenous contrast in the T2 uh, image as we saw here. And this is another uh, uh, case with 15 year old male patient Crohn's disease confirmed and uh, this uh, study showing the uh, uh, this one is a T2 coronal image which is showing wool thickening and also luminal stenosis uh, also ascending colon showing areas of thickened wool 
which confirmed in the contrast study or enhanced study by the enhancing wall which can be seen also in the axial image here as enhancement which can be detected at the wall with intravenous contrast uh, and uh, this is the conventional radiography which is showing also luminal stenosis and the mucosal fold thickening edema with fibrofatibular refraction and separation of the power loops and also the VCE can see the ulcerations easily with bilipoid lesions better than the other imaging modality. So if you want to take tips and hints from my presentation today, you can uh, uh, look at the next slides. MRE, which meaning uh, magnetic resonance interrography, is a simple, safe, non-invasive and effective method because it depends only in the injection of contrast and the drinking of manitol to uh, uh, take uh, the proper finding as we saw in the previous slides during my presentation. However, VCE, which is dependent on the capsule video capsule enhanced uh, endoscopy, allows visualizations of readily characterized subtle mucosa lesions because it is good for uh, imaging of the mucosa, which can be missed by the MRE. However, the MRE have advantage for uh, imaging of the mural, transmural, the perienteric, and also extra enteric informations, which cannot be detected by the VCE. However, the third types of from modality can imaging the power loops, small power loops in Crohn's disease is the CGR or conventional gastrointestinal radiography. However, this is uh, dependent on radiations and these radiations, which is not suitable for repeated use in the children, as you know, the Crohn's disease need to make follow-up studies and repeated exam. So maybe MRE is a suitable one for non-invasive uh, technique from uh, these all modalities. Uh, however, the, uh, uh, also the capsule endoscopy can give us information about the mucosa better than the other modalities. Uh, I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about uh, these uh, modalities for imaging of Crohn's disease. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.